verse number one. I will be reading from the ESV version of the Bible. In the voice of the children. Amen. Obadiah. Verse 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a report from the Lord. And a messenger has been sent among the nations. Rise up. Let us rise against her for that. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. For a few moments. I want to talk to you and encourage you from the subject. Rise up. Rise up. We have all experienced situations that have left us feeling spiritually disconnected, spiritually crushed, and spiritually drained. Some of us have been so spiritually and physically depleted that we have contemplated throwing in the towel by leaving the church. Cutting ties with those who have wronged us. Walking away from the call of ministry and simply being content with an existence disconnected from the complications of life. Have you ever been there? Yes. As we endure struggles that lead to our fruitfulness, there is going to be suffering in the natural and the spiritual. And sometimes we may feel like the suffering may never come to an end. Sometimes, Reverend Slater, we even pray that God will step outside of his will and simply move a little bit faster to accommodate our will in the middle of our crisis because we long for deliverance from a life of despair and desperation. If we allow it to, Minister Training Ready, life will mess us up. That's right. Mm -hmm. It will cause us to lose momentum. Right. It can even disconnect us from the God we need and the people that we love. However, as we engage life in all its complications, Jesus simply instructs us to remain in him as he remains in us. If you're weary in the midst of giving a life your best, do your best, Mother Right, to remain in him. If you're feeling trapped by your own pain and your own suffering, do your best to remain in him. In the family life, is not what it could be or what it should be. Think and sense and remain in him. If your financial situation is causing you to struggle and lose focus on what you need to be focused on, simply step back and remain in him. If the pressure of producing has you perplexed, do your best to remain in him. And if you feel like life is falling apart, don't give up. 
Do your best to remain in him. The songwriter said, God is the answer that I need. He's the source of my healing. He puts my mind at ease. He's the source of my deliverance. And I understand that he sets the captains free. God is the answer that I need. See, when I think of struggle, the death of my father had to be one of the most complex and dramatic times in my life. It seemed like I was experiencing life in a thick, unmovable fog. It was a lonely time. It was a dark time. And the memories of the grief and disconnection sometimes show up uninvited. Even though it was a time of hurt and a time of storm, I realized that God didn't end my father's existence. But what God did was elevate him to a higher plane. God lift me up and let me stand yeah. by faith on heaven's tableland. A higher plane that I have found. Yeah. Lord placed my feet on higher ground. Yeah. But see, in doing this, God had to remove my father from our lives as we know it. Yeah. But what God did, and I want you to walk with me this morning, what God did was use the fruit. In my father's life to make something new. All right now. It was new and it was efficient for a time we had yet not experienced. See, my brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that being fruitful is not the end. All right. Simply ask yourself, how sweet is my juice? All right. Is the juice that comes from my fruit beneficial for kingdom building? All right. To the Lord used the Father as the seed that would bring about something new. And God is using us on today to bring about something new. All right. You may not see it tomorrow, but the fruit and its juices may be used later on in this time. Ask yourself, how sweet is the juice? But even though I have experienced this loss daily for 25 years, and the loss of a parent is truly overwhelming, but I come out here to let you know that God can use your loss, your grieving, and your despair for your good. The Bible says, you know, that all things work together for good to those who love God. Do I got five folks who love God up in here, up in here? Those who are called according to his purpose. The good that God can and he will produce can turn earthly disconnection in our lives into a supernatural experience for kingdom building. All right. What I'm trying to say, Hope Missionary Baptist Church, we've all been a 
in a dark place. We've all experienced a world that tries to tear us down and we all stood at death's door and looked over into the abyss of eternity but in the midst of these moments of helplessness, God has allowed us to be consumed and I'm asking you all today to rise up yeah, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Obadiah, the servant of Yahweh, the true and living God, he serves as a shepherd, as a real prophet. In the time of tribulation in the life of Judah, through Obadiah, God sent a strong message of condemnation to Edom, which is the house of Esau. See, Edom participated in Judah's defeat and demise. But these words of condemnation to Edom were words of hope to Judah. Obadiah was a prophet to whom God gave a word to speak against Edom that was encouragement for his people. Obadiah's audience was the remnant of Jews left in Jerusalem and they were wondering if God would judge Edom for what they had done to them. Even though Judah endured suffering at the hand of Edom, with God as their commander and chief, they had hope. No matter what we do, no matter what folks say about us, they can call us everything but a child of God. They can turn their backs on us. They can walk away. But as long as God is our commander and chief, we have hope and we can rise up on today. Yeah. Yeah. Hope. God is calling us to rise up from the ashes of hopelessness. He's calling us to rise up from our brokenness. He's calling us to rise up against the hurt that we have experienced. He wants us to rise up from disappointment. He wants us to rise up from rejection and be a spiritual lighthouse in the darkness that will, be, that will draw the lost to him. My brothers and my sisters, if we are going to rise up on today, we must spiritually, physically, and mentally focus our attention on the fact that there's work that needs to be done. Yeah. Let me throw this in parenthetically. The work that needs to be done is not standing up and showing out for one another. Yeah, if we are going to rise up on today, we must supply ourselves, ourselves with the essential tools to spiritually, physically, and mentally be effective in relationships and in ministry. If we're going to rise up, we must get ready for the offensive and or the defensive actions required to be successful when it comes to our assignment. Yeah, Understand? Judah rose up at God's command. For my note takers, at God's command. Judah rose up against an agitator who participated in their demise. Mm -hmm. Judah rose up to remove 
a nemesis that refused to acknowledge who God was. So on today, how do we respond when God instructs us to move past the resistance, the hostility, and the antagonism of those who oppose him as we strive to get to a higher plane? Number one, we rise up at God's command, not because we are in our feelings. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We rise up at God's command, not because we are in our personal feelings. That's right. Number two, I want y'all to listen closely to this. We rise up against an adversary, not one another. Amen, lights. Ephesians 6.12, for which our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rules, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. So we rise up against an adversary. We are not to rise up against one another. Amen. But last but not least, we rise up to purge the evil one from our presence. Remember, the evil one comes to steal kill and destroy and he is not your friend right, right. he is not someone to be in a fellowship with because the adversary is in direct opposition yeah. to God yeah. and the adversary is an antagonist right. who tries to stop the move of God in our lives and attempts to be a hindrance in our process that leads us individually and collectively to our purpose. So we rise up at the command of God, not because we are in our feelings. We rise up against the adversary not our brothers and our sisters. We rise up to purge the evil one from our presence, not to rival those we are in relationship with. Understand on today, the world needs you to become a fire that is willing to rise up at God's command. The world needs you to become a fire that lets the enemy know you are equipped and ready for action. The world needs you to become a fire that is not trying to consume one another, but are intentionally striving to be there for one another. The world needs you to be a fire that is ready to swiftly escort the enemy out the door of your life and the life of your brothers and your sisters. Understand on today that I'm going to be out your way. There are going to be hard times. There are going to be moments of uncertainty. There are going to be complications. There are going to be unforeseen circumstances. There will be affliction. There will be trouble. There will be doubt in your life. In the church, there will be disagreements. There will be moments of discouragement. There will be fractured 
relationships. There will be pain. There will be times of confusion. And there will be times of disorder. There will even be moments of despair. But through it all, God has promised never to leave you nor to forsake you. Through it all, God is a burden bearer. Through it all, God is a resting place. Through it all, God is the source of our strength. Through it all, He is a peacemaker. Through it all, He is a strong tower. Through it all, He is a way out of no way. Through it all, He's the pathway to our peace. Through it all, He's the roadway to righteousness. Through it all, He's the wellspring of wisdom. Through it all, He's someone we can lean on, we can depend on if we are willing. He will teach us. If we are willing, He will guide us. If we are willing, He will show us. If we are willing, we can stand firm at God's command. We can stand firm against the scheme of the devil. We can stand firm in the midst of hard times. We can stand firm in the midst of our grief. We can stand firm in the midst of trouble. We can stand firm in the midst of misfortune. We can stand firm in the midst of all events. We can stand firm in the midst of broken relationships. Songwriter said, truth is, it's time to stop playing these games. We need a word for the people's pain. Lord, speak right now. Fall like rain. We're desperate. We're chasing. After you, no rule, no religion. I'm tired. God is calling us to rise up. I'm all turned out. God is calling us to rise up. I've been hurt. I've been abused. God is calling us to rise up. I can't fake it till I make it. God is calling us to rise up. I have no strength. God is calling us to rise up. I want tears to cry. God is calling us to rise up. I may not have much. God is calling me to rise up. I may have been broken. God is calling me to rise up. We can be confident as we rise. God is able. He has done great things. He will never fail. He's done great things. He's a mighty God. He's done great things. He's an all sufficient Savior. He's done great things. Greater than anything. He's done great things. Greater than all we have. He's done great things. He's higher than the love. He's defeated the grave. He's our light. In the darkness. He's above. Everything we know, yeah. He's far above all we hope. Yeah. By His power, we overcome. Yeah. By His power, we are set free. Yeah. By His power, we've been redeemed. Yeah. By His power, we have joy. Yeah. By His power, we have peace. Yeah. By His power, we rise out.
rise up. Yeah. At God's command. Not because we are in our feelings. We rise up against the adversary, not one another. And last but not least, we rise to purge the evil one from our presence. Amen. We don't rise up to rival those who are we are in relationship with. So are you ready to rise up on today, Hope Missionary? Amen. Are you ready to rise up from the ashes? Rise up from the dust. Rise up.